Welcome to block four of Jelly Snowflake. It's our Christmas in July celebration at Fat Quarter Shop. This is a completely free pattern you can get in the description box and the free patterns previous to this are on the previous videos. So subscribe to our channel so you can get this free pattern. This time we're gonna be using four strips. I picked two different colors to use two strips of each. And so our first step is I'm gonna take the jelly rolls and stack them up. This is totally optional. You don't have to do this. I just prefer to do this. So just get them as straight as possible. And I did starch my strips. I talked about it in the very first video if you wanna go back and watch that and how the width of this strip doesn't shrink. So you can starch a jelly roll. So I have all of this stacked. And what I'm going to do is just trim to two and a half inches because you can see it's about two and five eighths and I like it exact. So I'm gonna trim that. So I've trimmed it to two and a half. And now I have my design board right here. And we're gonna go ahead and cut and place it on our design board with our alpha bitties. So we have everything cut and we're ready to assemble our block. So we're gonna now build the block and what I found easiest was to just build it on a design board and then sew it as you go. So I'm gonna just start laying out the block according to the pattern and you know, a little bit will hang off and that's okay. And I'm gonna be using a lot of squares, a lot of rectangles, but I think laying it out visually on a design board or on your table is best. So this is your middle row, and then your top and bottom rows are going to look like this. And again, we're gonna be sewing one block today. And as I sew, I'll just take things off the design board and put them right back on. And that is the easiest way. When I was at home and I was trying to do the blocks without having a design board, I found I was making a lot of mistakes. So I think having the design board will really help visually because I did have to sew this and take it apart a couple of times. So let's see. Okay, so now this is how your block will look. And what we're gonna do is go to the sewing machine and we're gonna just sew all the pieces together. And as we're sewing them, we'll put them right back on the design board. And when we're done, we'll come and iron. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stitch and I'm just gonna stitch one piece, put it right back on the design board. Stitch one piece, put it back on the design board. Because there's so many pieces in this, it's so easy to get confused. And I sewed this a couple of times incorrectly so so put it back on the design board where I got it and I think that will help me not make mistakes this time
So now we're gonna iron, and on this, it is important for you to follow the pressing arrows on the pattern. And the reason why is when you join all four of your blocks together, you need your seams to nest. So just refer to the pattern on your pressing. And everything will lay nice and flat. And then we're just gonna lay this back out and make sure that everything looks correct. And this one, I'm gonna do a lot of pinning. So I'm gonna pin the top and bottom together. And this first seam, we're gonna nest and just make sure that it's lined up. Put a pin right in the intersection. I'll put a pin at the very end. And then a couple pins throughout and we will stitch. Press and then we will add the bottom row. Super easy. Let's go to the sewing table. Now here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this little seam roller that I have and I'm gonna press the seam so that I don't have to go to the ironing table right now and I can just add the next row. It'll save me time. And I can do an all over press when I'm done. So we will add this last row, pin it and stitch it. can go press. So now we're going to press. I like to set my seam, press to the inside, and we have paid really close attention to all of the pressing arrows so that when you put your quilt together, everything will nest.
So now I'm going to do a final trim. This is totally optional. At the end of making blocks, I like to trim all of the excess threads off and just make it nice and a straight seam. This is totally optional. I like to do this because it will make it have fewer threads in the back and it just looks really nice. And this is the icicle block. It measures six and a half by 20 and a half. You're gonna make four of them and it's the final block before we do the assembly and I'm gonna show you the four that I did. I made two pink and two blue and I'm gonna put the pink and the blue opposite each other in the final assembly. I hope you have enjoyed this Jelly Snowflake block four. I would love to see you next Thursday when we put the entire quilt together, so I'll see you then.